Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be focusing on the Pacific Coast or the West Coast region of the United States. Now, the reason why we're going to be focusing on this today is because we're going to be going over the Starbucks closing list as of Saturday, August 27th, 2000. And 22, and it's not just two that are closing because recently, as of yesterday, it was announced another Starbucks is closing in California. So right now we have um, we're going to go over the first article here. Uh, this is from the Rudders, and they said that the um, this is more about union stuff and people, whatever. So the union representing the Starbucks Corp employees said it's about 200 of its cafes at the coffee chain closed two locations in a realization for organization activities there. Though the company cited business and safety reasons for the closure. Employees at two stores, one in Kansas City, Missouri, in, and another in Starbucks' hometown of Seattle, Washington, learned on Monday that their locations would close. Workers Union said in a statement, workers at both stores have been asked by national... Okay, this is going on about union elections. It's nothing really... That's just a lot of fluff. We apply the same focus on safety, unionized, and non-union stores and are closing closing non-union stores where we are similarly challenged in providing a safe environment for our customers and partner experience starbucks spokesperson said on thursday um goes on about other that the kansas city cafe the second business in the area the union said the reason was given the closure of safety concerns shutting down stores doesn't make it safer it makes it harder to pay rent josh Cor corwell a worker at the kansas city location said in this statement Schultz said, uh, yeah, uh, okay, Howard Schultz said that they, in a leaked video on Twitter that July the company was shuttering cafes due to safety issues, including crime and homeless. So we know about that already. Uh, so we're going to go over the uh, Starbucks locations that have closed. This, these were the two that have been the most very recent announced. We're going to start with the uh, one in Seattle, Washington. Uh, and, you know, these are, these are premier locations. It's not like these locations are... Uh, in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I mean, this one is what right, right, right in the heart of uh, put in Starbucks. Yeah. So this is one of the Starbucks stores that unfortunately clo uh, or has already closed. Looks like this was inside of a supermarket. It seems, or it was an outer outer Purcell um, in this little strip mall. Uh, connecting it. Let's see if we can find the Starbucks out here. I do apologize. What did not mean to do that? I don't know why. The sometimes that thing does that. I don't know why. Um, okay, yeah, there it is. That's that's one of the two that are closing. I guess it kind of makes sense. The parking lot does look a little sketchy. I could see why Starbucks is looking to pull out of here, but it does affect people that are you know that have lost their job basically because of this unfortunate departure of Starbucks. But I do kind of see why that they're closing this location. I mean, look at this strip mall. It's not exactly the most attractive, especially for by Starbucks standards. It's not to dis um, dis the area that Starbucks is in, but it's I could I do see why that they're closing this location in particular. Um, and then the other one, which is the second busiest, apparently, in Kansas City, Missouri, at 302 Nicholas Road in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, this one is also shutting down, or has already shut down as well. And then in addition to that, Business Insider did not cover the most recent one uh, that was just announced about eight hours ago because the West Coast is about three hours behind. Um, and, you know, East Coast. Like right now in California, it's about uh, 1.30. Let me try and load that. Sometimes the map thing is very slow. Okay. But, you know, that one's at a supermarket, and this one's this one apparently, according to um, their numbers at least, this was the second busiest Starbucks um, in the company fleet. And that, that should say a lot. Uh, no 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 cow is sacred, uh, for, at least for Starbucks. And this is a really nice location, too. What a shame that, that they had to close this one. The other one in Washington, I get. That was a really dumpy location. But this, I mean, you sh shoot, you even had, like, outdoor seating. Like, that's just, you know, even... You even had accessibility features for people, you know, that require wheelchairs. Uh, this is a real shame. This is this looked like a prime spot for them. Um, unfortunately, people lost their job at this Starbucks location. Unfortunately, um, this is an interesting. I like the Art Deco roof. I think that's pretty cool to have that in um, Missouri. You typically find that in like California and Florida. I think it's pretty cool that they did this Art Deco roof, or at least Starbucks got the location in front of the Art Deco roof. Um, but it's a shame. It's it's a real shame. It's a shame that this store couldn't do the numbers, but I'm sure 
that there have been some certain issues in this area, and that's, I think, why Starbucks is pulling out altogether, unfortunately, as, as much as it, it, it hates me to say it. But it looks like a, it looked like a very nice location overall, very nice location. Like, like it looked vibrant, but I guess, you know, they just didn't see it as that anymore. So, And then finally, there's one more Starbucks closure that Business Insider did not cover. I will link the Business Insider article in the description. There was, there was one just announced yesterday uh, that the Starbucks in Land Park, Northern, Northern California, in the Sacramento Land Park area will, is also going to be closing. Um, has been closed by the coffee chain. The Starbucks at 15th and Broadway in Sacramento Land Park the area has been closed by the coffee chain because of neighborhood safety concerns. A first for the company in, north, in the northern half of California. Company management empowered local managers last month to take action to make stores safer, including shutting down problematic locations as a last extreme. Company spokesperson Sam Jeffrey said, the store at 1419 Broadway closed Thursday night at 6 p.m., just one day after the staff at an emergency meeting told the location was going dark. The store is next to a homeless encampment and what neighbors say was an open-air drug market and sits in a shopping center where there are numerous calls for police. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. And that's something that Starbucks does not, um, they're not exactly, this just goes on about more closures and stuff. Um, but I get it. They don't want, they don't want their stores to be near, uh, Home, homeless uh, encampments. It, it it affects the business, and it is a shame. But um, I I do see why that they're trying to uh, do it. Uh, Sacramento, California. This is where the other one that's closing. This was okay. It looks like this one was um, <clears throat> in the parking lot of a Target, which makes me to wonder believe that the Target will close. I'm not exactly sure where it's located. Sometimes they put them out in like the parking lot. We have something similar. Another. I'm trying to find the. Uh, trying to see here. I'm so, um, guys, I, I do apologize if my thing takes a minute. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Uh, let me put Starbucks. This might. This might be it here. If the darn thing will let me do a street view. Uh, there's Walgreens. Whoa, why did it just do that? Hold on, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to find this uh, Starbucks, but it's taking forever. This is going really freaking slow. It just did it again. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. Oh, wow. So this one had a Starbucks and a Jamba Juice. Nice looking location, but I get it. They don't want to be in an area where there's crime and stuff, I guess. It's unfortunate. It, it, it really is. Okay, so it's a Jamba I'm, I'm assuming that the Jamba Juice is probably going to be closing, too. So... But that's basically it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Links to the article will be located in the video description below, and that will be it.